Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. If you have not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are listening to this on the podcast platforms of Apple and Spotify. And if you are on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch to just go ahead and brighten up the place. And let's get into this conversation slash reality chat. Okay, guys. I used to watch The Real Housewives of Orange County. I watched it the last season. I know New Jersey, Atlanta, and even Beverly Hills has become like the mainstreams over the years, but Real Housewives of Orange County is literally the OG Housewives franchise, and I started watching that franchise. So I have a soft spot for it, although I will admit I haven't been consistently watching that season over the past several years, but I did watch it this past season. And I wouldn't say it was because of this, but I did watch it just out of curiosity when I heard that someone that was not asked to come back before, Heather Dubrow, was returning. And if you're not familiar with Heather Dubrow, she is married to a plastic surgeon. He has the show Botched on the E! Network. And she definitely is a beneficiary of his amazing, amazing lifestyle. Because if you saw the season where she was building their home, which was like a 14-room mansion, absolutely incredible she is someone that I believe was seeking fame. If you're not familiar with her, you're not missing much. And this is just my opinion. And I'm being beautifully honest about her. I, she is extremely just, uh, what what's the perfect word for her? I don't know if there's a perfect word for her, but she's definitely a snob. She definitely believes that she's better than everyone else. And she is someone that is just very pretentious and annoying. She calls champagne champs, champs. And it's just, she's just annoying. And she brags a lot about what she has going on with what her husband has supplied for her life. And hey, that's great. I'm not knocking that because he obviously loves her. But This story comes from Radar Online about her wanting to join the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and says that she's, they're saying she's desperate to join the franchise because she can't stand Tamara Judge and she's tired of Tamara. Okay, guys, Tamara Judge, she was on the Real Housewives of Orange County for many seasons. And yeah, she can be annoying for sure. She really, she really can. But Tamara was on that show longer than she was. And that's the type of thing when it comes to Heather DeBrule that annoys me about her. She believes that she's the most important one in the room. And even if she came to this franchise after Tamara Judge, she feels that she is better than Tamara. And honestly, all the other women on the franchise, to be quite honest with you. And she feels that she fits in better with the Beverly Hills crowd. So she's a bit frustrated and insulted that she is not a part of the Beverly Hills Housewives franchise. And I venture to say, I mean, it's not about your money because I, I get it. When you're married, his is yours and yours is his. Okay, cool. But he's the reason why you're even on the Housewives of Orange County, your husband, Terry Zubro. Because Heather was a failed actress. I actually saw an episode of Married with Children, guys, from years ago where she was an extra. (laughs) And she was coming on to Bud. Remember the loser Bud, the son of Al and Peggy Bundy? Like, yeah, she was coming on to Bud Bundy at the shoe store. Like, I remember that like yesterday. (laughs) And I will never forget it. So when I saw it and saw her on there... And I'm like, oh my God, that's Heather from the Real Housewives of Orange County. I was like, that seems so beneath her. But she she really tried to get into and break into Hollywood. 
But she lucked up and actually did better than a lot of those in Hollywood did. And she married someone that is extremely wealthy who has a very successful plastic surgery practice, okay? So the story is that she has her eyes set on switching cast to become a Beverly Hills cast member. Sources close to the situation reveal that Dubrow wants to trade her spot on RHOC for one R R H O B H. She just thinks she's a class above her OC castmates, Tamara Judge included. She thinks she'd be a better fit with the Beverly Hills castmates. Dubrow, who's currently shooting season 17 of the Bravo show, did little to deny she wants the trade. And she says this, and I quote, I mean, Garcelle and I have been friends for a long time. Renna and I have known each other. And she said this at BravoCon. And she said, I do enjoy diamonds. Let's be clear. We'll see where the wind takes us. Girl, who says you deserve to be on TV at all? And that's the thing that bothers me about her, the sense of entitlement. She came back to the show last season because Tamara Judge and Vicki Gunvalson were no longer on the show. And it's not because they were no longer on the show, but because they were considered the OGs of the OC and they were no longer on the show and having her back on there, she really felt like she was better than everyone else. So if you watch the last season, she was getting into it with Shannon and Shannon, I don't really know how long Shannon was on the OC Housewives. She probably was on there for about maybe five seasons, but she feels that she's better than Shannon. If you watch the season when Shannon came on and Heather was on the show. Shannon, she was going through some marital issues and problems. And Shannon found out that Heather was discussing her marital issues with people that she knew. And she got angry about it. And as crazy as people say Shannon is, I really understood where she was coming from. And Heather, with her, with the way she goes about dealing with people and thinking that she's better than everyone else, like she told, pretty much told Shannon to get out of her house when Shannon confronted her about it. She didn't say you're, you know, it's not true or anything like that. She just pretty much told the girl to, you know, my children are here, please leave. And you know, she talks like that. She's not going to yell. She's going to make you seem like you're the crazy person and she's got all of the sense in the world. It's the pretentiousness and the entitlement for me that just really annoys me about Heather. But yeah, she believes she deserves to be on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because she believes that she's better than the women on The OC Housewives. And I believe Tamara is joining the cast again and Vicky is going to be like a friend of. So they sold their 14-bedroom custom dream home in Newport Beach, California for $55 million. And the couple recently purchased a $21 million luxurious penthouse in Los Angeles must be nice and hey that's amazing and that's what most people want to do if you know anything about the real estate market and how it has been you could sell your house for a lot more than it's worth and I mean I know things are changing now with the with the inflation going on in the housing market changing a bit because of the interest rates but when all of these people were going around wanting to buy people's properties and it's like, okay, well, are you going to give me enough to buy what I want to get into? Because yeah, you know, I could sell my house for way more, but I'm not going to sell my house and downgrade to an apartment. I want to have money in the bank and I want to be able to buy exactly what I want to get into. It doesn't always mean it has to be something bigger than what I'm in now. And it sounds like that's exactly what they did because they downsized to a three bedroom, five bathroom, 5,300 square foot. And hey, downsizing for them is definitely 5,300 square feet. <laughs> That's not most people, but it's it's amazing. And I, I applaud things like that. I have no hate in my heart for people that are living well. I absolutely don't. But with Heather, to feel that she's entitled to be on the Beverly Hills cast because she believes she's better than the other women on the Real Housewives of Orange County. Girl, sit down. You really don't even deserve to be on TV at all. But those are just my thoughts. You can let me know yours in the comment section. Do you believe she deserves to be on the Beverly Hills Housewives? And that she is 
more clean cut and upper crust and uh, higher upper echelon than the other women on the Orange County Housewives. Girls, you should have been lucky to even get on the Orange County Housewives and you left there for a while and now you're back again and now you're already being entitled thinking that you deserve an upgrade. Whatever. Goodbye. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And until the next time, this is Beth and I'm just being beautifully honest.